Welcome to today's Farmer's Desk. In this episode, we are going to look at types of farmers or types of farms. This is because when you know where you are, it will be easy for you to plan where you want to go or to have a vision of where you want to go because you have a starting point and most farmers do not actually understand what type of a farmer they are this is according to the surveys that have been conducted ask a farmer which category are you they will tell you i'm a small scale farmer and probably they are not they will say that without knowing for sure what sort of a farmer they are. Now, according to the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, there are about 600 million farmers globally. So the world has 600 million farmers. Out of these, statistics show that only 1% are actually large scale farmers. easy to categorize farmers in different categories. This is because farming is a complex undertaking. What I might be doing, someone else might not be doing, although there could be a number of similarities. And therefore, placing each farmer in a category, it has not been easy. <laughs> Some acceptable standards have been developed to determine what type of a farmer one is. And the most widely accepted standard is that of determining a farmer based on the size of land that they are actually using or actually operating on. Globally, what has been accepted is that anyone who works on a land below two hectares is called a small scale farmer. And anyone above 50 hectares is called a large scale farmer. In between, it could be a medium scale farmer. However, the rest are either small scale or medium scale farmers. Zambia as a country has got its own standard. And this is where zero to two hectares, you are a small scale farmer. And 10 to 20 hectares, you are a medium scale farmer. And above 30 hectares, you are regarded as a large scale farmer. And that is by Zambian standards. important for you to know the category in which you fall as a farmer? Well, it is important because that way you'll be able to have a clear vision of where you want to go and where you are. The other point is that you will actually have open eyes to see the potential which is there in the global farming industry. Why? Because as I've already said, only 1% of the 600 million are actually large-scale farmers. The rest, and the majority of them, are actually small-scale farmers. People working on two hectares or less. So you can see that there's a lot of room for one to shift from just working on a two hectare, and then you advance to uh, 30 hectares, 
by Zambian standards or above 50 hectares by global standards. So what example can we give of someone who actually worked hard and moved from being a small scale farmer to a large scale farmer? A good example is that of our current president, Akainde Ichirem. The man only started with only six animals. And today he runs ranches with a total number of cattle of about 80,000. <laughs> I repeat, 80,000. That is no mean feat. Therefore, it is important that you have a vision like what he had. One can move from being a small scale farmer, very, very possible, to a large scale farmer, as long as there is hard work, vision, and determination. The other point to note is that in the world today, the small-scale farmers are the people who produce about 35% of the food we eat. So there is room for growth, a lot of room for growth. The other example of a big farmer in Zambia is Zambif. Zambif are among the large-scale farmers we have in Zambia, and they're into everything. They're into crop production. They are into livestock, they are into food processing, they are into marketing, they are into distribution, they are into export. So as farmers, when you know the type of farmer you are, it would be easy for you to get motivated in order to rise up to the challenge and progress further. It is not a good thing that you always remain as a small scale farmer. And together, we can work our way out of this and progress further to become either a medium-scale medium farmer or a large-scale farmer. So, as farmers, we need to identify strictly where we are, the category in which we are. Once we understand that, then it will be very easy for us to rise up to the occasion. So as Farmer's Desk, we are going to continuously help those that follow us on Facebook, on, on YouTube, through this platform, on how they can progress. And this is exactly why this program is going to be systemic. As you continue following us, you also slowly be growing from being a small scale farmer to a large scale farmer. So this program has been designed to help you know your current position and then begin to move from being a small scale farmer to a large scale farmer. So as you continue following us, you'll find that your vision will even become clearer and then you continue moving towards your dream of becoming a large scale farmer. So from us here at Farmer's Desk, we want to thank you for being there and indeed for following us on Facebook and on, on YouTube. Continue doing so. Please don't forget to leave your comments or, or like or invite your friends to be part of this conversation because basically extension services are very scarce and therefore this e-extension will help you to grow as a farmer. We will provide you with the necessary information that you require. For example, when were you last visited by an extension officer, a government extension officer, it being from the veterinary department or from the agriculture department or from the fisheries department? I bet you tell me that you've not been visited 
in the last one year, two years, three years, or even the past five years. This is because extension services are very scarce with the scarcity of resources that our government has. Therefore, take advantage of technology and continue following us. As of now, before we say bye-bye, let me tell you what we are going to look at in the next episode of Farmer's Desk. So in the next episode, we are going to look at farming systems. What systems are there in farming? Because when you understand the systems which are there in farming, it will be easy for you to pick one which you think is applicable to you. From being a small scale farmer to a medium scale farmer and large scale farmer. For now, it's bye bye from Farmer's Desk. <laughs>